we're on our way to the South Tee, Tom. And I, got, I wanted to show you guys a spot that we're, uh, Jenny and I are always coming back to. It's on the west side of Bear Lake. Uh, we call it the Strawberry Spring. But um, there's been some, some sightings back here. And the one that uh, compelled us to come back here the most um, was where a couple of guys uh, were up here in April. And uh, they were going to camp somewhere, whatever, I don't know. Um, remember the entire story I just remember uh, the details I'm interested in but um, this is where they camp and I'll walk around their campsite a little bit but it started raining whatever two in the morning and they these two guys stopped here with their hunting dogs and uh, they uh, they slept under their truck they threw a tarp under the truck and their sleeping bags and laid right under the truck kind of right where I'm standing and stuff and uh, about an hour after they were laying there uh, their uh, hunting dogs took off up into the brush and stuff um, after a creature that they could hear out there actually they sicked their dogs on it they could hear it and it woke them up and the dogs were freaking out and these are hunting dogs um, I'm talking bird hunting dogs but hunting dogs a hunting dog and uh, anyway uh, they sicked their dogs on the creature out there well anyways it started growling and roaring and screaming and it chased the dogs right back to them and uh, there are two dogs that they'd never seen scared before were rolling around at their feet and everything and uh, they shot a bunch of shots up in the forest because it, it charged right to the tree line right out of their uh, eyesight but they could see the shadow of uh, this Bigfoot creature and stuff and anyway they drove it off shooting and stuff and then their dog sat and whimpered the rest of the night and then uh, as the story goes they made a campfire they didn't have a campfire at that point in time and anyway um jenny and i um have been to this area quite a bit and what compels us to bring back is the f compels us to come back is the physical evidence that we found that backs up their story and i'm going to start right inside their campsite um we found a territorial grove of aspens that have snap-offs anywhere from seven to 10 feet. Some, some of them are even 12 feet up. It took a big creature to jump up and snap these massive aspens off. We've never filmed this location, but we've been watching this location for several seasons now. And uh, since we're on our way to the South Tetons and we had to pass here, we're gonna film it for you guys. So let me show you what's going on here. Um, there's Jenny, say hi Jenny. Um, here. In their campsite, here's a here, here's where they're camping. Here's a snap off, and this is a kind of a territorial mount marker. These snap offs, and this one isn't that impressive. I mean, it's a good eight feet up there. Um, it's only two two and a half inches in diameter. I mean, you try jumping up on an aspen and snapping it off that far, but you know, you say it's a coincidence. You know, it's the weather, blah blah blah, this and that. But just just look, it's. It was ripped off up there. That's ripped and torn and you know twisted and stuff. But anyway, I want to take you guys back to the to the real grove of uh, aspens. Uh, this is just not very far from uh, where they were actually uh, camping. It's very close, but um, it's about an acre of aspens that have been just snapped and shredded. And some of them it tried to um, snap off and uh, it just bend them over and stuff. Kind of know what I mean. But I'd like to show you guys around. Looks like someone's been up here on horseback recently. I see a lot of horse hoofs and stuff up here. Guess it would make a great uh, horse I can ever, uh, I mean a great place to ride horses. Um, it's just after a fresh snowfall. So, if they've been here through here recently, it will be easy to find tracks. Okay, there's a an old snap off right in front of me. Jenny, will you come and stand under these snap offs? Sorry, I don't know if you care to be on camera today, but this will give people a perspective of how tall and thick they are. Jenny's gonna stand right next to this one. 
and then uh, I'm gonna kind of walk around the grove and show you guys all these massive thick this one right here the really old dead one uh-huh and Jenny's like five foot three so that's over twice her height that's like an 11 foot snap off and then that's like a four inch to five inch diameter tree and then uh, here's one right here to the left of me that one's not quite as high another snap off there's so many of them in here and then there's some that looks like they tried snapping off and they just bent over look right here um, here's the whole tree that got snapped off right there there um, that that's an old one it got snapped off and then the tree grew off that way here's one that just got bent over you know it was trying to snap this one off and it just bent it over um, right here's one that it just about got snapped off and just bent over and Jenny's standing next to another snap off we counted uh, the last time we were out here we counted uh, 24 inside of an acre I mean it's just not it, it, that's just can't be a coincidence here's two right here in front of me we stand in front in between these two right here Jenny Okay, the one right there, and then there's one more. Will you point it or, or touch the other one, Jenny? This one? Yes. So the viewers can see it. Touch it. Wait, 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 wait. You just walked past it. You're going to a different one. I it. Oh, okay. Right here. Yeah, there's another one back here. Boom. Right back there. there. By the way, me and Jenny have heard some weird whistles since we've been back in here today. Hopefully the camera will pick those up. Oh, look at these two right here. One of them's from this spring. And look, I mean, something's been showing a bunch of, a display of power through here. It's either like a, a fighting location. Look at the snap offs right there. There's three of them right next to Jenny. And there's one back there. Will you touch each one of them, the bend over and then the one that's been bent over and... This one. Mm-hmm. I mean, they might not be able to pick them out. I know viewers can pick out Bigfoots left and right, but these snap-offs. <laughs> that magpie scared me. I wonder if there's something up on the hillside right there. That one right back in there. Oh, yeah, that one too. And this one's been bent over. Look, this one's been torn over torn over I mean something comes through here like every spring or every other spring and the reason I say spring is because uh, when we come through here in the spring is when we see recent damage you know several of these recently done I mean uh, there's a whole history of them here look at those two right there that Jenny's walking under well, had that's done that one was done in the spring we found that one in the spring honey mm -hmm. we've been watching this place for a while and oh there's one back there by the pine tree and uh, I'm sure we're not gonna be able to find them all for you guys this territorial grave grove of snap-offs but now you see why the guys and their dogs got harassed you know a Bigfoot's like oh people are a lot like us um, why don't they understand this is my place I marked this off they got to come in and do their special Bigfoot juju to win this place for me and they didn't so he come in and ran them off tried to anyway they still finished out the night They're pretty brave guys at least they said they did see that snap off right there I mean you guys I don't know if you guys are seeing what we're seeing but there's a bunch of destruction where they've been pulled over to the side snapped off and these are like twisted ripped snapped offs yeah we followed that path before too but yeah there's a path that goes that way there's a, bunch of there's a spring there. not too far from here and I think this territorial grave grove is claiming the spring and all the animals that come and going forth from it and then there's a spring here called strawberry springs and it's called strawberry spring for a reason it's because the strawberries grow here look at the blue jay check that bird out oh, neat. 
Oh, there's some elderberries here. Look, there's some of the elderberries aren't even going bad yet. I'm going to walk up and show uh, you guys right in the middle of the territorial grove of aspens, right near Spra Strawberry Springs. Look at these elderberries and they're still good to eat. The blue jay was just up here eating them. You guys see those elderberries up there? And there goes the blue jay. He's not even going very far. He's telling us he doesn't appreciate us being here. What a great food source. No wonder why uh, a Bigfoot has claimed it. Okay, <laughs> Jenny and I got a long ways to drive. We're only halfway uh, to the South Tetons. And uh, we're hoping we can uh, film uh, um, another uh, um, hotspot location south of the Tetons, which is uh, Palisades. If not, we'll have to film it on Sunday. But anyway, today's Friday. It is uh, November 1st, 2013. We're on our way to the South Tetons.